Frank? I had the weirdest dream. What about it on the floor? You fainted. Fainted? Us canes don't faint. What a pair of pommy wimps you two turned out to be. Get thee gone from this place. Oh, that's right, Francis. Exercise it. Exercise? The only exercise I'm looking for is a glass to wrestle with. Well, ain't you's got a better welcome for your old Auntie Clara? Auntie? Yeah. Didn't Queenie talk to you about me? Clara, sister. Twin sister. A tube of something cold will go down a treat. I feel like I've walked from Adelaide to Woomaroom and with a dead starling in my mouth. Peter Albert Noonan. Killed two of our colleagues on the city jewel job and now he's on the run after giving HM prisons a slip on the way to the scrubs. He's a bit of dross who I want to see in a cell for the rest of his lousy life, which is why we're meeting this evening. The rumour is that he hasn't done the Latin run just yet, but that he's somewhere in town, and I want to know where. So his eyes and ears in every nook and cranny. Check it all. His haunts, his women, his friends, his enemies. Obo Danny Kane. Some say he and Noonan have patched up the blood feud. Mm. Maybe he knows where this bit of slime is. Mm. Maybe. Questions? Let's get him. Think I love you this, think I love you that. Think I love you chin, think I love you chat. Think I love you fat, think I love you thin. Think I love you baby, tell me where have you been? I think our bodies is talking. Body talk, oh, bodies is talking. Body talk, our bodies is talking. I can hear them say, keep on talking, don't stop walking away. Australia, eh? Left the family bosom in 52. I only took two things. I don't want you listening to rumours. Was your dear granny's crocodile handbag and a 44 left by Curly during the Second World War. 44? As in sort of this revolver. Um, who was Curly? Big Yankee aviator. Side gunner on fortresses. He rode off to D-Day and then... Nothing. Cheers, cobbers. You really, my sister? Of course she is. Dead ringer for the old girl. Body talk! Body talk! Body talk! Body talk! I think I'm honest to stop me like an ear that's saying. Keep on talking. Don't stop walking away. Queenie was born four minutes and 14 seconds before me, so I'm the youngest, technically speaking. Mm. You uh, did hear the sad news? Sure did. Read about it in the Sydney Herald. Big piece they did on her. The Alice Capone of South London, it was headlined. Oh, Ma, I would have been impressed. She ran all organised crime from Rotherhithe to the Elephant. At least that's what it said. Of course, that's what I'd heard. Clara, Aunt Clara, I'm so sorry to have to tell you, that's absolutely right. Right? Of course I'm right. You've inherited the Paradise Club, Danny's taken on from where Queenie left off. Is that right, Danny? And since I run a similar little firm in Sydney, I'm here to see if we can do business. Don't stop walking away. I've got 26, uh, Walkman out. It's going down, man. Oh, all right, mate, yeah. Uh, bit of trouble with starter motor. Uh, it's on the blink, I think. Uh, got to wait for the uh, firm to bring a replacement. Yeah, hey, let me check it out. Uh, no, it's all right. I mean, any minute they're going to... have one of these. Surprise to requirements. Cheers, mate. Is that minicab firm? Is that the one with the blue lights on the top? Uh, blue lights? Uh, I don't think so, mate, no. I'll tell you what, Constable. Just keep praying they send you to suss out the general mob. Some of the teams I know would adapt to that pizza. I 
heavy motoring. <laughs> Only one man I ever loved, as in truly head over apex. Who was that, Clara? Dangerous Melvin Malone. Oh, he was a rebel. Trained in Dublin as a dentist, ended up the terror of Wilmaruma. Oh, what a man. So what's the proposition, Auntie? Well, the way I see it, we got the same problems here as in Sydney Oz. I mean, the law has more resources, and the more successful we get on our side of the tracks, the harder it gets. Now, what I propose is this. Look, just leave me out of it, all right? Oh, so you don't get involved with the nitty-gritty? Well, you know Frank's a priest. Oh, don't surprise me. When he was a nipper, he was thrown out of the Kandahar Street gang for refusing to nick empties from Holly Page's store and take them back and get the deposit. Oh, shame on you, Frank. Mm. Now, um, Auntie Clara, be very careful what you say. Because word has it that the peelers have got a lip reader. You were uh, coming in to meet Carol and the kids? A lip reader? Oh, take no notice. He's winding you up. Look, before we go in, I reckon we go multinational to keep the coppers guessing. We exchange some of our best men. Gem thieves, robbers, wheelmen, con artists, enforcers and girls. I run two stables. Girls for truckies, class ladies for your vicars and bankers. What's the matter? Uh, no, I was just wondering how you could say everything so fast without moving your lips. <laughs> Trick passed down by dangerous Melvin. In his twilight years, he was dogged by lip readers. So, what do you say? I'll think about it. Quite frankly, Aunt Clara, I'm not sold on this expansion idea. Funnily enough, the club's doing quite well. I've got shares in Brit Oil, North Sea Gas, plus a small investment in British Airways. I'm also thinking of going into property. Danny, you're not contemplating going straight. And there she was, large as life, on my dear daughter's eyes, Miss Campbell. It was Mark A. Mark Haines dead, Ron. What are you saying? You want the taxpayers' dropsy for reporting a psychic phenomenon? Now, nah, listen, just listen. I ask around, see, and what do I hear? Oh, God, I hate that sound. I ask around, and what do you think? Mark Haines had a twin sister. Mark Haines had a... You're toying with me. Common sense, Ron. Though I must confess, it's not in my COR file. Yeah, I have a name. Of course you do. Even Hottentots have names. Sure, I don't know why I bother. And me, a musician, stepping out on the road to fame and fortune. Keep on talking, don't start. All right, I don't world. have a name. Work for century. A score. It's an old woman, for God's sake. An old woman who runs a rougher, tougher, and more successful firm than the Paradise Mob. Don't mess with me, Blythe. An old twin sister who makes Mark Hain look like Mother Teresa. An old woman who is wanted on police files in four countries. Do I pay well or what? Hmm? Name is Clara Desiree Malone, naturalised Australian. Let me tell you about her. No sign of Noonan at the family home. Um, his brother's in there, though. And uh, three. Not from my sources, no. Who's Nigel's new friend? One Sarah Turnbull, Detective Inspector. A very high flyer, so they say. Where from? I've been around a bit. Last heard of in anti-terrorist. I don't know about all that gospel music, man. Part of me wants to get up there and do the flips and the twists and shout hallelujah. <laughs> But it ain't cathedral music in the great Handel tradition, is it? There's room for all sorts of music in the church, Chuck. Yeah? Just like there's room for your saints and sinners. <laughs> yeah, right. I think I'll find there's more of the latter, especially myself. I know what around the 2.30 at Newmarket. Type is Sarah. 11 to 4 joint favourite. Oh, that goes my sister quid Yankee. What did you stand to win? Some rewiring and a uh, new coat of paint for the club. I'm looking for Danny. Can't help you there, miss. And um, where's dear old auntie? Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Don't tell me she's gone and forged a senior citizen's bus pass. 
Mr. Kane, I have a warrant to search the Paradise Club. Can I have a look at it? You know, you've changed. And I must say, I'm sorry to see it. It's all right. Jolly good. I must warn you, I got some of the worst bands in England in there. <laughs> I think we got Pete Noonan in there. Told you, we don't harbour murderers. There was a time a few weeks ago when that would have been enough, but like I said, Frank, things have changed. You're not happy in your job anymore, are you? Tell your brother, please. The heat is on. The heat is on? Just that? Just that. I'll try and remember. If we did that one again. What? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, hit it. That's really dreadful. That'll win. Congratulations, Brent. Well planned and well executed. Now, I suggest you search the place thoroughly while my tattoo uh, You mean while the buggers do their stuff? Yes. Still got your tattoo, Nigel. What tattoo's that, sir? Nigel. Who the hell's Nigel? Right, you lot. This is fresh pasta with a veal cut small. Tomatoes, spinach, basil and pasta. Smells better than wallaby fritters with platypus bills. Cheers. You don't eat wallabies. Nah, of course not. Just Aunt Clara's little joke. Well, it wasn't very funny. Terry. We don't eat didgeridoo pie, either. I'm not waiting for Frank any longer. He's become obsessed with that damn club. Here you go, Aunt Clara. Ta love. Leaving Bramcote Arms. No suspect found. Of course you do, darling. It's got a five pence piece in it. Terry. We'll say thank you. Thanks, Mum. Thanks, Cobble. Is that Frank? No. Nah. Frank rings the doorbell like any normal, decent human being. If you blokes did your own work, you'd know I'd never bring work home from the office. I do know that, Danny. But this Noonan business is bigger fish than me on the case. You know we put cop killers in a class by themselves, Danny. I don't wish to sound presumptuous, but I actually liked your late governor. Mr. Torrance once won a tango competition down the Paradise. Just step aside, please. However, I have a wife and two kids in there, plus an elderly relative. Look, we have to search your house, and we're coming in now. I'm afraid I can't let you do that. Doubtless you'll appreciate this is nothing personal. Oh, shit. This is ridiculous. Just hold on one minute. 
Carol, come here. Carol, come back here. Look, I don't know who this Peter Noonan is, apart from us reading the papers, but he isn't in my home. Is he holding your kids in there? Just scratch your ear if he is. I wouldn't have left him, would I? But then you don't have kids, do you? We'll be quick, Mrs. Kane. No fuss, no mess. Now, if you want to help your husband, please ask him to let my men in. Hmm? Look, this has to be done, so why don't we just do it the easy way? Do you understand about Danny? How do you think he got where he is today? Danny commands respect because he means what he says. He's got more bottle... OK, so you don't approve of that. But he's got more bottle than any of the so-called hard men in his manor. And if he says he won't budge, then he won't. Because basically, he's a fine man. What's up? Aren't you Clara taking hostages, is she? I have a warrant to search this house. Your brother is just about to find himself under arrest. Uh, can I inquire the purpose of the warrant? I think Peter Newton's in there. And is he? I, uh, can I have two minutes? Why not? Uh, you'll be quick and uh, no mess, all right? Sure, yeah, no problem. Danny, they will put you inside, you know. Assault on police, resisting arrest, obstruction and all that. Plus, the kids don't want to see you scrapping on the doorstep. It is a new house. Danny, if the ponce isn't here, and I believe you, really I do, we'll be in and out in seconds. Noonan is the target now, not you. Not just at this moment, anyway. Just you two. Get up with it. You've got class, Danny. And sense. They are bloody sordid. Look after the kids for me, Frank. Yeah. Yeah. You had no right to interfere. This is none of your business. No kidding. Police training exercise. If it was for real, we'd do it at four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> it's just like crime watch. <laughs> okay, boys, on with the bleeding motley. Have you ever been to these Scottish ski resorts? There's nothing there. Not even the snow last year. Only these wallies with the skis washed up down the slope. They've been far better off on the piste. Looking like competitions always go down well. Yeah. Institution, ain't it? Amazingly bad, sir. Yeah. Amazing. Randy and baby shame, darling. In the same glass. First of all, Tesco's on the branch on the right hand side of my grocery shop. Then Sam's is on the branch on the left hand side of my grocery shop. But I'm doing marvelous business. Does you change your name? Is what you change your name to? He said, main entrance. <laughs> Nerve hanging around here. Why is that, John Joe? Because you're a grass. That's why, Rob. Give over, gents. I ain't never given the lily nothing. Only, uh, only that silly tart Campbell sits me a fiver from time to time. He hopes you can turn me. Yeah. <laughs> you saying that I shouldn't milk the system? I'm saying nothing wrong. Only study your local history. You should learn what happens to snouts down this end. Tar, darling. Look, if I'm a copper's narc, how come I haven't told him where to find Peter Noonan, eh? You know where Noonan is? Maybe. Where? What's in it for me? Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. You'd better believe it. No, it's, it's only a hunch. I, I, I mean, it's just something I noticed. Fitter out, Ronald. You could do with some cred with Mr. Kane right now. Yeah. It's all true, folks. It's all true. True. Hey, Jimmy. It's the Arnold Schwarzenegger look alike competition in here. Eh? 
wasn't impressed with the way you handled that last night. Well, neither were my wife and kids. Coppers have a warrant, you let them in. At least you obey rule number one. Keep the homestead clean and innocent. Now, let's talk turkey, Daniel. I can't see what benefit you can bring to my operation, Clara, and that's a fact. Look, Danny, we share Sydney and London between us. Salt our funds in offshore companies, a laundering operation on an international scale. We exchange teams to confuse the law, and I back you financially to expand. To expand? Sure. With Pete Noonan on the run and his kid brother unable to cope, his turf is ready for taking. I'm not interested in Noonan's territory. Look, Danny, this whole town is a vacuum. You don't fill it, who's gonna step in? I'll parlay with some of our friends. Make sure we keep the status quo. Status quo? You Queenie Kane's son or what? This whole town is up for grabs. I mean, look at the yardies. And with Colonel Mombasa out of the picture, we could target Brixton too. I mean, all we need is some guns and a spot of bloodletting. We're talking in terms of billions here. It's nice to see you, Aunt Claire. I never having met you before, and you being Ma's twin sister and all. But I'm happy with the business I've got. And to tell you the truth, and don't quote me on this, the older I get, the more I can see that this villain is a mug's game. Look at Karen and the kids last night. Commodity brokers don't get their homes walked over by the boys in blue. All this... The north side, Danny, and the south, I'm offering you London, boy. London and Sydney. Well, thanks for the offer, Aunt Clara, but the answer's no. Dangerous Melvin once said to me, Clara, you can't never expect a spit in the eye, but it'll always take you unawares. Bit of a philosopher, was he? Where does this thing stop? Tower Bridge Pier. We can go back to the club. They got an afternoon of old-time dancing. Fox strike. Sounds more your line, Baser. I'll carry on to Westminster. Are you sure about this? I hung Ronnie up by the heels and played him me Irish jigs tape. Begging for mercy, was he? No, man, lies after that. Well, it's a pity we can't give Aunt Clara the same treatment. Well, I could... Uh... No, no, no. Take more than a few Irish jigs. Come, we got work to do. Friend, we're closed. Ah, uh, you phone for electrician. Oh. Nick, shan't problem. Seen to come. You do that. I'll take a look, yeah. Over here. Tried the fuse box, but no joy there. I need to trace the wiring. You got a junction box? I know that there. voice. Yeah. You can't go upstairs. Yeah, well, maybe I won't be able to. Bloody Mickey Milligan. Rosie Campbell's team. See, the problem with this noon or not is we're leaving the field wide open for the rest of London's armed robbers. Rosie, a quick word. Governor. Charlie Squad reports that one of your people has been plodding with these size nines all over Charlie Squad's operational area. Mm -hmm. Could one be more specific? One certainly could. Your DC Milligan is even now inside the Bramcourt using some electrical cover. Electrical, is he? Well, please explain. Well, I believe Charlie Squad are monitoring the Noonan establishment with a bugging device. Precisely. But they have no one inside, sir. DC Milligan is a most experienced observer. And I think we, as a unit, should have the occasional presence on the ground. Excuse me. You fixed it? Uh, should be working now, yeah. Haven't I seen you somewhere before? Uh, Haringe Arena, the wrestling. How come I don't remember? Oh, you're somebody, mate. I'm a no one. <laughs> I like that. You want some pizza? Pizza? Uh, no thanks, no. Bill's 46 quid. Well, pay the man.
Sergeant, you should have known better. With respect, Sergeant Fielding does what I tell him in the final analysis. Right. When he comes out, Milligan, you stay away from the Bramcoat. That's an order. You said at the briefing Noonan was our top priority. I believe I can find him, sir. Just try and be part of the team, Rosie. Please. Rosie, Sergeant, this is Detective Inspector Sarah Turnbull. I'd like you to let her accompany you whenever she wishes. No secrets. Miss Turnbull might be joining us very soon. Steve, I need you, your brother, and the Joker boys. Right, fine. Meet me there. Dixie, I've got a bit of trouble on. I'm going to lead you in on it. We'll be at Winston's yard. Right then. I was DI on division at Kilburn, then with the drug squad. I remember you. The D'Agostino bust. That's right. You with serious crimes. Nutter Lewis. <laughs> Any other specialities? A bit with anti-terrorist. So, you think you can catch Noonan? Yes. Yes, I do. Tell me about it. See if I can help. Anyone for coffee? Better off serving cyanide. Tell me something. Why do they call you Polish Joe? It's a long story, man. <laughs> yeah, I thought it would be. <laughs> it was a good night last night. How much we take? No, Father. I mean, everyone enjoyed themselves. Good laugh. Really? You know, Mark Kane started his worst band night because the neighbors complained about the noise. Yeah, I had heard that, yeah. Well, now, even the neighbors come in for the contest. Well, my lot of them do. Great. Joe, what's troubling you? Father. Frank. Old habits, Frank, you know. Die hard, yeah. I know you don't get involved in Danny's world, the other side of the family business. I wish most earnestly that there was no other side. I think the boss knows where Pete Noon is to be found. John Joe got the whisper last night. Father, Frank, they can't turn Noonan in. It's against our... Don't laugh. It's against our honor, so to speak. I'm not laughing. Well, you know the alternative. What? They can't let Noonan live. Do you know where to find Noonan? No. But I know a man who does. This won't be forgotten, lads, and that's a promise. Now, we all know what the plan is, so let's go for it. This is Noonan, man of the moment. Mark Ayn's funeral was attended by most of London's leading villains. Were you there? Yeah. The squad had a particular operation that day. Somebody tried to kill Danny Kane with a sniper's rifle. Just my type. What's his name? Danny, that's Danny. Danny Kane. Your personal target? Oh, yes. I'll have him. Sister, well, I must say, you've got a lot of bottle.
We're blood rivals. Or didn't you know? As it happens, Sonny, I've finished with Danny and the Paradise Boys. Ever since that priest came back into the fold, I hear the lead's gone out of their pencil. But it's not you I'm here to talk with. It's the big boss, the serious Mr. Noonan. Your brother, Peter. Well, Peter's on the run, Mrs. Malone. The whole of the British police force is looking for him. Turn this place over twice, they have. Who knows where he is? I do. Oh! So, this is the day job. Been bleeding demoted, had a trash can and proper dust cart yesterday. Friends in high places, eh? You're making me nervous, Frank. I never could stand much tension. You know where Pete Newman is? I may have been you, where he might have been. I'm just trying to stop a bloodbath, Ron. You told the police? You jest. Noonan's a dab hand with a black and decker. Yeah. Oh. I know a lot of things. Such as? It's been a good laugh, but I've got work to do. That hurt. We have to talk. Isn't so much safer. Could you? If it was Oliver Cromwell, I could. Yankee one to Yankee. Yankee to Yankee one. Come in. Yeah, this is Yankee one. I have a message for D.I. Rosie Campbell. I have a positive, repeat, that's positive ID on Peter Albert Noonan. He's located at the Bramcote Arms. That's shit. Hello. Rosie, I haven't been 100% frank with you. Mm-hmm. Go on. I have a job already. I work on the floor upstairs. Special branch? And they've asked me to take a look at you. Oh, I see. So you lot have been checking me out. It's not as bad as it sounds. Mm. Well, I suppose we're hardly in the business to protest about the invasion of privacy, are we? Not really. Is this Graham's way of getting rid of me? Nothing to do with him. As I said, others have been taking an interest in you. You're a first-class investigator. I'm actually just about to, um, poach you. For special branch? No, thanks. No. For another, um, government organization. It would mean leaving the police force. How absurd. It's a good career. You could go right to the top. Sarah, Miss... Ms. Turnbull. I happen to like my job. I see no reason to move on. Sometimes, though, Ms. Campbell, it is not ours to reason why. God, we've just had a positive idea on Peter Noonan. Let's nail the bastard. He's in the Bramcook. Noonan's been located. Right, let's get tactical firearms unit down there now. <laughs> I've done two coppers. A third won't make any difference. <laughs> I was phoning in my office. The electricians. Honest. <clears throat> Honest? <clears throat> Look, I'm not a copper. Do I look like a copper? Looks like you need a haircut. Uh, honest. I'm very honest. You were oh. iron convinced. Nick, tie him up while I think there's something horrible to do with him. 
Kitty, we ain't in Oz. What's that? Just peg him out in the desert, put honey on the heads. And? Bloke screaming the truth in minutes since he knows there's 20,000 termites biting into his skull. We call it honey crunch. If this goes up and Noonan's mob starts shooting, I don't want none of you to start triggering back without my say-so. This is between me and him. Having Noonan on our patch has brought nothing but blood and grief, low-life dope dealers and other firms thinking they can take a slice of our cake. So I'm going to see him, I'm going to tell him the facts of life and I'm going to see him on his way. Well, Danny, what if he starts shooting and... As Frank would say, have faith, John Joe. Have faith. Kane's twin sister. Still a serious gangster down under. Why? She's in the Bramcut. Well, they got the jukebox on full. Or well, maybe we're sussed. Or maybe they're just being careful. And Peter Noonan? I haven't heard his voice. Oh, Milligans. Danny. It's Frank. Jesus. Who the hell's that? A caped crusader. Frank Kane, Danny's brother. It's a Kane priest. The unfucked priest. Tell him to get lost. Do you know what I'm wondering? Claire and Malone? Sure. You're wondering if this is a paradise mob wooden horse. Well, it ain't. Easy, Granny. Let him in. What's this? I've got to go in after Frank. If they find this on me, it'd be an invitation for Noonan to start blowing people apart. Hello, Peter. That looked like competition was last night. You could have come as Ben, uh, what's his name, you know, who played Gandhi, or the late, great Peter Sellers. Goodness gracious me. Is there anyone who doesn't know I'm here? For God's sake, put that bloody shooter down. Yeah, that's a big amen from me too, Claire. We've got to find Frank and Obby after this. What? I don't suppose butterfly catching in the Antarctic would be far enough away, would it? Peter, I come with a proposition. I declare this also concerns you. I want no groveling apologies from my nephew, Danny. I think he hates your guts. Now, here's the SP.
Okay, boys, lock the doors. Nothing in my hand I bring Simply to thy cross I cling Make it come to thee They're in the back bar. And change the record. No, none. You is the big man me about. What if I am, Sambo? <laughs> Sambo. <laughs> Mister, let me introduce myself. I am Dr. Tuwanias Dread. Can we move in, sir? Can't risk it with Milligan still in there. Not to mention the revivalist choir. Plus old Marcane's sister Clara. And her nephew Frank. All we need is Danny for a full house. Weird. Very weird. I take over the Brixton Yard is. From that weak posse. Colonel, so called. Mombasa. No, you. And that white witch. A schedule. A slow death. You're crazy. Walk us. Walk us. <laughs> uh, uh, fellas, uh, 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 brother, we have a deal. Ah, brother Francis. Here is the deal. <laughs> <laughs> The police are everywhere. On the other hand, there's always parachute jumping without the parachute. Oh, no, enough is enough. Let's stop the charade. I wouldn't advise it. Well, let's just say that Newton and Auntie Clara are no longer our problem. Frank Kane, the patron saint of interfering meddlers. Look good on the stained glass window. What a pair of Hollywoods you two turned out to be. Oh, how thoughtful, gift wrapped. Well, well. I wonder what they've done with the Antipodean Rhine Maiden. They've taken her to Terminal 3. She should just about catch the Qantas flight to Australia. Who rustled up that motley crew, then? Oh, they're from the uh, Gospel Mission Hall Evangelistic Choir. I'm a man, Polish Joe, is a very keen singer with them, bass baritone. That Qantas flight will be delayed. I'm sure your friends in special branch can fix it. Because? A woman wanted in four countries, flying about unaccompanied, is not on. We need to have her watched. Then when we turn her over in Sydney, it's official. Paperwork in order. Correct. All done by the book. Di Campbell. Excuse me. Her master's voice. Wonder if we can dance the tango. Yeah. You have a passport? Of course. Excellent. Something we said. Tis the curse of the Canes. Hey? Sydney. Sydney Kane. Sydney, Australia. Is that why they call it the Flying Squad? Well, I certainly won't miss you too. Likewise.
There'll be more dodgy dealings down at the Paradise Club next Tuesday at 9.30.